how much, uh, if you don't mind asking, I don't know if you want to answer it either, but how many businesses have you like started and they don't work and start and they don't go? Most times is when we're starting a business owner, like it's your first business you start, you're like, this is the one, like, and I'm sorry to tell you, like, it's probably not, that's probably not the one. Cause you probably have to, you fail in a couple of business. Like for mm-hmm. us and with inceptions, like we got a couple, we got a track record of, record of this yeah. not first rodeo. It's yeah. not the first rodeo. <laughs> so you kind of know what's working, not working. Totally. But for you, like, it seems like you said you were trying this and it doesn't work. You're trying this, it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, I guess the, the hemp farm didn't work and then the greenhouse just wasn't a good fit for me. Um, they're still going, but it just didn't work out for me as like an employee there. So, um, it had similar kind of a similar essence to the hemp farm in how leadership was running. And I just started feeling a lot of those similar feelings of like stress and anxiety and felt like it wasn't going to be a healthy thing for me to stay there. So, um, yeah, that was one that I made that choice to leave, I guess, if the business didn't fail or anything. But, um, yeah. And, I mean, Two Drifters, the one that Kevin and I started, that's been a challenge. Like, we've definitely had plummets of, like, do we need to keep going? And then, like, no, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it going. But, you know, he's got his thing. I've got my things, too. So it's a balance there. That's interesting. I heard a quote of his name is uh, Naval. I, f- I forgot his last name. But he talks about... Um, when you climb up a mountain, you're climbing up the mountain, you get to the top of the mountain, you're just like, yeah, I'm on top. The thing is that when you actually see it in retrospect, it was just a little hill. <laughs> and to be able to get to the mm-hmm. other mountain, the other mountain's over there, but you can't just jump over. You so have to true. climb down the mountain oh again God, so and true. then start climbing up again. And a lot of people don't do that. They'd rather just stay there. Yeah. But in the reality, there's way more mountain. There's always going to be a bigger mountain to climb. But the thing to get to the other mountain, you have to climb down and start over. So true. And people are so mm-hmm. scared to start over. They really are. It's the unknown. It's change. We don't like change as humans. We like our habits. <laughs> but I want, I want to go back to something you said at the beginning um, that you have at the, at the block, you have Brie to kind of like bounce ideas off of and stuff. How important or necessary do you think that is for other people to have in their business? Just like whether it's like a business partner or just like someone to like get advice from a consultant or someone yeah how important do you think that's that is? necessary yeah absolutely um brie and i lucked out majorly we weren't like friends before we didn't know each other at all and um like i remember meeting her and i was like cool like similar age i guess that helps you know we're both female that helps um but we are very different and like learning each other through business first and then we're like oh you're pretty cool like Mm -hmm. we're we're kind of we can we can vibe with this and then that makes our businesses better too i think because we both believe in it when we show up for our shifts we're proud to be there um and that makes a difference in everything you do you know it's kind of that other like you're showing up authentically even though your product is this what are you what is your service uh, like when you're in that space um so i think having someone that's believing and like keeping you in check too as you move forward is absolutely key i think that keeping in check is is important yeah if, it, if it's just you you think you're the, the hot shit so you think whatever you do is going to be like a great idea yeah but then that's like you have her she's and she's like nah no. <laughs> let's do it this way <laughs> yeah and it's funny you were saying like you guys personalities were different for like the event like she has this notes and you're just like i'm winging it yep. let's go <laughs> so i think there's always good to have the balance yeah you need I think you need both. Absolutely.